TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen. You never know what's going to happen on here. Uh, don't forget, though. Twitch.com is where you can catch the live streams, man. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post five days per week. We did a double upload on this current day. I'm trying to catch up from last week, you feel me? Anyway, man, this is Joe Fish. We watched. We recently watched a Joe Fish video. Good content, brother be doing, man. These titles he be having be crazy. The last title got me yellow marked. <laughs> I might have to switch them up. Uh, UK Town Plague by Balaclava Clad Thugs. Talk to me, Joe. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. See, Joe got it. Joe shooting this video in 4, 8, 4K, 8K, ain't he? Look. Brother got it. 4K, 440p HD. I don't even know what that is. I'm down here somewhere. 720, 1080p. That's good with you. Let's do this one. I don't, 4K is, let me see. Do it look different? No different, my computer can't pick it up. Today I'm in Swindon, the largest town in the county of Wiltshire. Once a quiet town, but now the most dangerous town in the region and amongst the most deprived in Britain. Oh, do look clean though. <laughs> With parts of Swindon being amongst the top 10% of deprived areas in the UK, where 25% of the children growing up are growing up below the poverty line. Swindon has seen a wave of problems over the last few years, leading to a number of shocking headlines such as... The once quiet UK town now plagued by guns and gangs in balaclavas prowling the streets. One of Britain's worst towns is riddled with drunks as residents are ashamed to live there. Squads of drug mules leave locals too scared to speak, in leafy town becoming the UK's new gang capital. Today, we are going to be spending some time with one of the leading charities in the area to hear from a victim of this epidemic and those that are trying to combat the problems faced on the streets. I didn't hear something he said. Charities in the area to hear from a- Where is this? No, 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 go back. What is this? Squads of drug mules leave locals too scared to speak in leafy town becoming the UK's new gang capital. Today, we are going to be spending some time with one of the leading charities in the area to hear from a victim of this epidemic and those that are trying to combat the problems faced on the streets. I've never actually been to Swindon, so honestly, I don't know what to expect. But having been here now for about half an hour, I've been shocked by the amount of shutdown shops, the amount of rubbish on the streets, and the amount of graffiti on the buildings. Oh my God, where was I? I oh, y'all, oh my God. If I just took my camera, just I'm going to do it. And I'm just gonna walk around somewhere in Florida. Like, I, where was I? I was somewhere and it was just bad. I was like, God, Lee, I, I, I seen some stuff, but this is tough. Florida got it. They don't think they don't. Florida is beautiful when you come into vacation, but when you live here and you be in towns and you be ducking and diving through certain areas, oh man, <laughs> it's rough. It seems ahead of me there's a police incident taking place. The lady was kicking up a right fuss about getting in the vehicle and me being there. So I've left the area to make it easier for the police to sort the situation out. Actually, why I like this dude, he see police cars, he walk dead up to them, get to recording, and then peacefully walk away once it get too crazy. What, what are 
are you doing? Recording. Recording what? Why are you recording? After World War II, it was decided that people in industry... See, brother, you got more patience than me. Why am I recording? Girl, go sit down. It should be moved out of London to overspill towns. In 1952, Swindon was designated an overspill town and thousands of people moved to the town from London and other areas of the UK. Swindon expanded rapidly and new housing estates were built. It seems Swindon is still an overspill town for the capital, swapping industry for violence and crime amongst other big city problems that have overspilled onto the streets of Swindon. Year on year, Swindon is consistently voted amongst the worst places to live here in the UK. Is it the high levels of deprivation and poverty to be found? Is it the high crime rates? You can see a Union Jack mural here in Swindon and below it, an enormous pile of rubbish that's been left out on the streets. There seems to be a huge problem with fly tipping in and around Swindon. That's not even fly tipping. This is these are bags of real actual garbage. Where is the the trash man? Where's the garbage man at? Wow, this is insane. You can see yet another sofa bed laying out nah, on the streets. This is fly tipping. Now it is. Brother, is it like this all the time down there? Yeah, bro. All the rubbish. Yeah. Is it normal? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Why is it normal? Okay. Well, you heard it yourselves. Apparently it's normal around here. That certainly can't be the most hygienic thing in the world. Bro, what is that? Is them sheep? Big pile of rubbish. And there's your meat. It's gonna get cooked. Every single one of these shops that you can see behind me is closed down. Bro, what is the point of this street then? They might as well close the passage and make people go around. Like, what are they doing? Nothing is open. <coughs> Another full row of shops that are complete. This low key how parts of downtown Miami look. Y'all be thinking of downtown Miami. Oh, no, no, that shit's terrible. Chicago got still, in my opinion, got one of the best downtowns, the best looking, functional, actual what a downtown is supposed to be. Like, Miami's downtown, lost LA downtown, both terrible. Completely closed down. swinging his arms way too much in october 2023 swindon was overlooked in a list of 55 left behind towns here in the uk these towns were earmarked for 20 million pound of funding over the next 10 years at the time mps argued that swindon had already received 19 million pound in leveling up funds in march of this year Cap. rishi sunak the then prime minister visited swindon where he spoke on the decline of the high street he said i quote everyone wants their high street and town centers to be a place they can feel proud of you want to be able to go there with your family and enjoy a nice time out together. You want it to be a vibrant place, the beating heart of your community. Is that more challenging in an era where more people are shopping online? Of course it is. That's not anybody's fault. That's not a political thing. It's because all of our shopping habits have changed. That's Cap. Are we listening to Richie Sunak? No. I don't like... That's what he said? Bro, if you clean it up and make it look like something good, like people will come. Don't matter if shopping is online. There's other attractions <laughs> that could be put here. Do you agree with this sentiment? What is causing this decline across our high streets? Is it the usual suspects, Stupid. like online shopping, as the previous prime minister mentioned? Is it the cost of living crisis being felt by shoppers and business owners alike? Is it time to say goodbye to the high streets we once knew? With the world seemingly speeding towards a new <coughs> digital age, are we witnessing the death of the British High Street? One thing that kept coming up during my research, on top of all the other problems faced by the people of Swindon, was the County Lines epidemic sweeping the streets. County, County Lines is where illegal items are transported across local authority boundaries, from cities into smaller towns and sold, usually by children or vulnerable people who are coerced into it by organised criminal groups. The county line is the mobile phone lines and people that are linked to organised groups that run this illegal trade. 
Yeah. Now, Swindon is a big town, uh, don't get me wrong, but you, you, logistically, it's on the M5 corridor, it's on the M4 corridor, We've got the big cities from, from up north, the Liverpools, Manchester. Mm, so Swindon is in, is, 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 is in the, it's in the mix of the pipelines. There's a lot of M-ways and E-ways running through there. You've got Bristol, you've got London, and so Southampton. So, so Swindon is a big, has a big drug issue. But the big heavier gangs can come here and take over without there being much local um, resistance. resistance. Yeah. So they come down here and they set their trap houses up, their, their lines, and they can just completely exploit people. It's quite a vulnerable. The trap house is a place where illegal activity is organized and distributed it from. Kinda. Small town for exploitation in terms of the big gangs. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they, so they come down here all the time. There's the yeah. lines over lines, you know, the police are shutting them down. But sadly, with that, you know, there's been murders. It's, it's not just murders, it's also the stabbing. Yeah. They're, 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 it's the, it's right for the minute. The violence. violent stabbings. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's culture that um, carrying a blade. I mean, they even talk about shanking. Shanking is an American jail ass term. Kid, we had a kid turn around and say, we're trying to bring him into, get him into a job. American jail ass In prison slang, shank refers to an imp improvised stabbing weapon. Some kid, we had a kid turn around and say, we're trying to bring him into, get him into a job. He turned around and said, I make 700, 900 pounds a week. Why would I want to get a job? He's 14. Oh. They carry these massive machetes. They carry these, uh, what's it called, doomsday knives and things. Zombies. It's dangerous. Everyone goes, well, let's have an uh, amnesty, or not an amnesty, let's have a ban these, uh, these doomsday knives and ban those. The most dangerous knife you get is a kitchen knife, yeah. a little kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. And that's free available. So if you're going to go for the. the, the it's, that's, all, that's all politics. I wouldn't say the most dangerous. All knives are dangerous in the wrong hands. It'd be the person that's dangerous. The most accessible knife is the kitchen knife, the most common knife is the kitchen knife everything else is just for show and trying to look good which is honestly bullshit the issues that you get is the smaller knives those are the ones you can't see those are the ones they carry those are the ones they can easily easily hide the smaller knives with a long thin blade those are the ones that do the damage right just been joined by one of the residents here at Swindon. So tell me, buddy, how is life for you in Swindon? It's not a bad place, in honesty. <coughs> it's got pockets of um, general problems that towns have. Um, you read about stuff in the newspaper. I mean, when, when the lights get good dim in the evenings. And, yeah, there's good things about the town, but yeah, I mean, the kids have beef, don't they? they they're chasing each other for, for, for debts and, and territory, and there's more and more violence and yeah. stabbings. But, but yeah, I mean, there's certain areas you should avoid at night time, but... Is that really? A lot of it's patrolled by the cameras, and they've got street wardens as well. There's a lot of um, fly tipping and graffiti goes on, but this, this is a building that used to be... Um, there used to be oh, a yeah. bunch of businesses in there. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone just ticking over, you know, until they pulled the plug in 20, 2016, I think they did that. But yeah, the council have got a lot to live up to. From what it's I just in the city of Chicago, like, this, you, this, they're not allowing it. New York is nice too, that downtown. But like, they're not a lot, like, no. Like, don't get me wrong, there's homeless people down there, but you're not gonna be outside sleeping in front of doors. It's not happening in this down, not downtown. Like, you could be on the outskirts maybe, like, but do you gonna have to move? Um, there's no boarded up anything downtown, for sure, absolutely not. They're not doing that. I've seen. Chicago's also a huge metropolitan city, I understand, but I'm just saying. I haven't seen much in the way of an increase in violence. I've seen, I mean, I was working today and I smelt a lot more pot than usual, which is, you know, it's small time shit. I don't really care for it. So how are you finding life in Swindon as a young adult? Tolerable, to be honest. Okay. Tolerable. Pop in every now and again. It's cheap. It's cheap to get here. Cheap to get out. It's got to stay out of Penn Hill and anywhere start with with a P. Stay away from anywhere that starts with a P. Is that right? So the Penn Hill estate is a definite. Try and stay away from there. Yeah. Do yourself a favour. He instantly went. <laughs> I like it. I'm now on the Penn Hill estate, one of the most notorious areas within Swindon, a place that's renowned for having high levels of crime, 
high levels of poverty. It look calm. This estate was built in the 1950s to house the overspill from London. This was one of the first estates to be built in Swindon. The area now finds itself with some of the highest levels of crime and some of the highest levels of deprivation to be found in the UK. Damn. Unfortunately, the Penhill Estate is an area within... It just seems like a waste. It's surrounded by... Oh, fire. There's a fire here. Okay. Makes Unfortunately, the Penhill Estate is an area within Swindon where around 25% of the children growing up here are doing so below the poverty line. This estate is around one mile squared. However, it records between 50 to 100 crimes per month, with the majority of those being, being violent or antisocial behavior. Ah, there we go. I hate to ask, but it helps tremendously when you like, comment, and subscribe. When I film videos like this, I want them to go out to as wide an audience as possible. And with your help, we can do that. I'm, not I'm already subbed up, my boy. You right though. Now approaching Manchester Road. It seems to be one of the more notorious areas within Swindon. Let's head down Manchester Road and find out for ourselves. VIP vape over there. Look like it's busting over here. I don't see nothing boarded up. I must say it's looking very A1 barbers, they got the potential haircuts on the outside of the store. Very run down on Manchester Road. There seems to be a bit of a problem with crime in the area. On every other lamppost, there's a sign for crime stoppers. It's another huge pile of rubbish just strewn out on the street. A style barbers. Another barber. That's one thing you know, man. The, 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 somewhere that got like poverty and hood label, you're gonna find a lot of uh, you're gonna find a lot of barber shops and liquor stores. Nice BMW there outside the barber shop. Third barber. Shop. Another barber shop. Pretty clear, I don't visit the barbers that often. However, I've been shocked at the amount of barber shops that I've found along Manchester Road. There must be- It's an entrepreneurial thing. The locations are for cheap and they're prime for people who need haircuts. People in the hood, they value their haircuts. You know what I'm saying? They want to look like they got something. Must be at least eight or nine. <laughs> Just come across an empty handbag and an empty laptop bag. Let's hope whoever owned those bags has got their valuables. They don't. Once again, there's a big open bin over spilling right next to food produce. Bro, what is up with the sanitation workers in these towns? Like, I just don't. Now I'm I get it, they probably Filled this up quickly and the day hasn't come yet, but like no expert, but surely that's not hygienic. They doing it right, that's recycling. Honestly, there's so many fly tipped objects. Often, when industry leaves the town, that void is filled by crime, substance abuse and poverty. Swindon as a town was once a giant of the car manufacturing industry here in the UK. And yes, as a town, Swindon does still manufacture cars, however that industry has shrunk significantly. I'm in the Brunel shopping centre here in Swindon and it feels like I'm in some sort of dystopian... Which means no jobs, which means families have left and migrated to where work is, which means the... the, the um... The money is gone. You, you you normally make money. You, this is how towns work. You want them to be able to make money in that town and spend money in that town. But you can't make money here. So the shops that were here, 
Notice you can't nobody spending no money here no more either. So. It starts with jobs, man. The economy has to help itself, but you got to have jobs here. If there's jobs, if there's work, if people know, man, there's work out there, there's work out there, they're going to come, they're going to bring their family, and eventually the economy will recover. It takes some time, but if ain't no jobs, you're just killing your, your own area slowly. Hollywood movie. You can see here, every single shop on this corner of the shopping center is closed. It's all completely closed. Every single shop that you can see <clears throat> in frame is closed. As you can see, Close nearly every single unit is closed. There's a gym there that's operating as a 24-hour gym. Let's continue around the corner, see if it gets any better. Every single shop down here is closed as well. This is so bizarre, walking around a huge shop. It's strange that they put a 24-hour gym right here, like nobody's coming there at night. N nobody. Been sent out and there's barely anyone in here. I've maybe seen 10 people. There's a few restaurants up at the top that are still operating. And that seems to be where most of the footfall traffic gather. But once you get off that main bit, there's literally, there's no shops that are open and there's nobody here. Just walking through one of the public parks on the outskirts of Swindon here and I've come across it. You can see the trailer that gets pulled along there. Oh. A number of caravans here in the public park. There's a horse there in the distance. It's a traveler's site. Well, not sanctioned, but you know. It must be really difficult living as a traveler now. There's a huge lack of places that these people can actually pull up and pitch up legally. Hence why often they're forced to pitch up in public parks on the side of the road. I'm sure nobody bothers them there. I'm now outside the headquarters of one of the leading charities within Swindon that's helping the young people face the problems on the streets. That's helping the young... Swindon ex-gang member says boxing and coaching saved her life. This is an ex-gang member? Young people face the problems on the streets. So I'm now at best, be a better you. And I've been joined by the CEO, Don, the operations manager, Craig, and the lady herself, Jess, who the organization was formed around. No, I think I should start off in not possibly Craig. This is when it started, this is where it came from. Um, okay. She was the Hellraiser back in 2019. I had this idea and this based on the experiences that we had. When we had just had her problems, they, we had CAMS and CAMS, and they, they do a great job. CAMS is the name of an NHS service that assesses and treat young people with emotional behavior and mental health difficulties. Okay. But that stage was a nine month waiting list. Today's a three year waiting list. But you're talking about a kid that's got a problem today, you've got a three year waiting list. I was looking at setting something up for gangs, for knife crime, for criminality, for substance abuse, even with teenagers and kids. Look, I'm also, I, whatever you want to do as an adult, 18, 19, 20, whatever you want to do, do it. My thing is, criminality, substance abuse, gangs and that within kids, yeah. within children. Um, I'm not, but I've, I've got a very colourful, uh, a very colourful background. Yeah. So is, so is my operations manager, Craig. What I'm saying is leave our kids alone. I've always wanted to give back to the community yeah. uh, and offer people chances, young people, because someone was there to give me a chance. This work for the County Lions kids, but I, I, as well as they, they need opportunities, these yeah. lads that are being, the, the yeah. young girls that are being exploited and groomed into gangs and stuff like that. But there's yeah. also a hell of a lot of um, at risk kids in Swindon. As you said, Jess's story, Jess went away for a while. I said, look, moved away. I looked out of the country for a little while, came back. And you started the, the road to recovery and the road to who you are today. So yeah, come clean, stop the drugs. I had no phone, no social media. What we've actually become involved into organically is not just narcotics. So in 2019, that was five years ago. Substance abuse, gangs. We've become crazy oh. to as an alternative provision. We now evolved into mental health, kids with ADHD problems, kids at school, truancy, kids that have been abused. <coughs> So was she about 22 now, 21? Uh, I think the main like 
the main thing with Bess is like we've all actually been through it. We all like Craig, he's got his own story, my dad's got his own story, I've got my own story and like That's a very good point, Jess. And that's the difference. Like that's what these That does make a world of difference when you're talking to the youth. If you've actually been through it and can and can relate with somebody on that level, like, hey, listen, this happened to me, let me tell you my story. Instead of just feeling judged by somebody who hasn't walked that life, it, it, it make a difference. I'm not going to listen to somebody who's never been through what I've been through. Who, what the, what you going to tell me about my life when you're not living this? You never live like this. You've never experienced the things that I've experienced, so you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> this is how I was as a youth. Like I wasn't talking to nobody that wasn't living like that. Who who couldn't who 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 couldn't be a, a positive role you really have to be that role model for kids. Like, dang, bro came from where I came from. He had the same struggles as me and look at him. Or look at her. Like, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be that. Or else you just talking like you bring somebody who came from a posh upbringing. I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. It's salute. It is what it is. But if you if you bring in somebody from a posh upbringing to talk to some hood kids, some some ghetto kids, like what 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 buddy gonna tell me, bro? You had it nice, <laughs> and you continue to have it nice. You being here makes me think you looking down on me, and you passing judgment, even though you could not be doing that at all. You might just want the best for everybody, but you. That's not gonna be. That's not the message that's gonna be conveyed. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to get down there and be like, "Look, I came from that. There is another way." Or, or I understand what you're going through because this is how I had to live. Like, this is what I did. Boom, 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 boom. But this is what I've figured out. Let me give you the game early so you could probably stop. <laughs> These kids can relate to. Look at this facility, Craig. Yeah, she's spitting. She's right. And that's why a lot of these these uppity people in politician jobs, they, they talk, they talk, they talk, and that's all they're ever doing is talking and talking and talking. Because you don't believe what you're saying. You're not, you're not, you're not from there, so you don't know the urgency. So it's like, you know. You got for these kids, mate. Oh, well, we started in the garage. You started in the garage, and now you've got yeah, this. We had a boxing ring in the garage. Really? Basically. So, how do you find that boxing? Because I boxed myself, and I know that that was my saving grace yeah. as a youth. The same conversation with teachers, structure yeah. uh, that are resistant to introducing combat sports as a way to support young people. They see the results in in, in terms of like physically, it helps us. Yeah. With, with, with emotional regulation. Ooh. about mental health the endorphins the fuck? Endorphins, it creates positive mental health uh, but then there's also the discipline and learning skills the coordination yeah, the bonding with people in the gym the rules the boundaries that the young people thrive off so Definitely. there's all those kind of things and and the confidence and you see them starting learning combinations and pad drills and they're like and then they start working with another young person and then so yeah but we, we drill it into them you do not use this on another person unless it's in a controlled environment sparring Absolutely. in a boxing club. Hey, she got hands. I know she'd beat a couple rappers up. <laughs> it's a beautiful town. I, I lived here. I mean, we've got a major ground about we. Yeah. Um, I've lived here 24 years. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, Swinners are amazing, they're amazing talent, it's done so much good for me. They're beautiful people, yeah. We've got an element of trouble. It is getting more and more prevalent and it's growing. Um, that said, it's happening in every town, village, mm. city throughout the UK. The issue is, there's no deterrent whatsoever. Whatever. Um, and this is coming from our politicians, our police force. We're too scared about what people might think of what we say, yep. as opposed to actually delivering a service and that's upholding a law, a law. But because the regime that we've carried will continue, our jails are so full. Yep. We're now going to reduce everyone's sentence down to 40% served. So I can go out there, carry a blade, stab somebody. 
deal with club, deal with it, what they want to do. Mike, as a 14 year old kid, we had a kid turn around and say, we're trying to bring him into, get him into a job. He turned around and said, Mike, 700 dollars pound a week. Well, what am I going to get a job? He's 14. Uh -huh. Point. We're reducing our sentence down to 40% served, time served. What deterrent is that? What deterrent is that? I'll turn around to a kid, you go to prison. I'm, hey, I'm making 900 pound a week for the last five years. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go two years and I'm like, well, I can't make that money work legitimately in that time and paying your taxes. Yet you make it in you know, half the time, a third of the time by supplying, by having a 40, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old supply of meat. I'm not saying it's the right thing. We have got it wrong. Society in the UK has got it wrong. We need to be able to turn around and turn that. And until you do that, it's never going to change. I've just left the headquarters of BEST, one inspirational group of people doing fantastic work amongst the community. If you want to check out the website and support the charity, there's a link in the description below. Let's see, BEST Trust, that, what was it? Amongst the community. If you want to check out the website... BEST, let me see. BEST Trust dot co dot uk that did not come up on my phone obviously because i'm in america okay so for, nope that sucks website and support the charity there's a link in the description below i'm going to be racking my brains in a way that we can potentially fundraise for them well that was swindon let me know in the comments below what you think did the town match the reputation painted by the media mm, swindon's 100 down bad uh uh like i don't know too much of the paint that was painted in the media but all i seen was what you posted and the, and the walk around alone lets us know what's going on it's just down it's just, I th and I think we've seen Swindon before, and it's, it's, it's still down bad. Tia, leave a like, comment, man.